women do everything to just get closer. Whoa. Women magnet fragrances. Fragrances that attract women like a magnet. Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. I'm here with the one and only Sandra Salomon yes. Fragrance. Hi everyone. So I asked you to pick 12 absolutely amazing fragrances that attract women like a magnet. Yes. And you have done so. I have picked out 12 excellent women magnet fragrances and I am, both me and some of my girlfriends are crazy about these fragrances. So which is your first women magnet fragrance? My first women magnet is a special one and it's a new one, but this one is not new. This is Scandal Puron from Jean Paul Gaultier. This is not the new one, but this is amazing. So I wanted to mention it. There's a new Scandal in town. And this is Scandal, and I think it's Le Parfum. Yeah. Yeah. So this is sweet, just like the original, but it has more of a vanilla sweetness. It's still aromatic. It's still kind of warm. It's definitely sweet, but not overly sweet. Yeah. So if you think that Scandal Purom, the original, is too sweet and you don't like that caramel sweetness, please try this one out because this is heavier on that aromatic side and the woody notes. So I know that you have been getting lots of compliments yeah. with Scandal Purom, the yeah. original. Have you had the opportunity to try this one out? Uh, so I owned uh, the original Scandal for quite some time and this one is a crazy compliment getter. Women just love it. Yes. Now, I only had this for, I don't know if it's like one or two months. I tried it out a few times and I already received a few compliments. But I had this one for so much longer. So yeah, this one wins currently when it comes to compliments. And the next one is one that we have been kind of addicted to, both yeah. you and me, since it got out. And yeah. then you got this one and I can't stop sniffing it. Killian's Angel Share. It will make you smell like a sweet cinnamon and apple pie with something boozy on top and it is beautiful. Yeah. I mean, you have to know that this is a magnet. So yeah, I talked about this one quite a bit in some of my videos. It's intoxicating in a crazy sexy way. And no, it's not just me. Pretty much everyone around me feels the same way. This is a boozy gourmand. It's super strong in a super sexy way. And yeah, if you want a crazy way women magnet fragrance then I mean get this one it's not cheap but I do think it's worth it and it would actually be criminal to do a video about women's magnets without mentioning Leighton from okay. Parfum Samarly. And uh, if you have watched our videos, you know that I wasn't impressed by this for yeah. like a couple of years yeah. ago. And now I can't get enough of it. And I knew that you would sort of get around to it. Yeah. She didn't like it from the beginning, but I knew. I knew every woman, pretty much every woman, absolutely loves this and wants to get closer to it. And I'm really happy they actually chose it. Yeah, and uh, the, the funny thing about this, I was so annoyed with you when you were like, you're gonna love Leighton. Okay. Yeah, okay. and then you kind of tricked me in a video, yeah. and I think I said something like, this smells just like the perfect boyfriend. Yeah, something like that, yeah. yeah. So Armani makes great fragrances yeah. for men, and I love the entire code line. I'm not sure now, however, which of the code fragrances that you can actually still buy, or if some are discontinued. Uh, I know Code Absolute is gone, I know Code Profumo is gone, I believe you still can get the EDP, but yeah. Yeah, so I was so happy when Armani Code Parfum mm. came out. This one is, at least to me, a bit expensive. I think it's a bit pricey, but this is beautiful. Yeah. It's kind of fresh, it's kind of powdery, and I think it's like a mix of all of the other Armani Code fragrances Pretty into much, yeah. one. Yeah. So yeah, awesome pick. This is like Armani Code but done in with a sort of a bright freshness at the top. Yeah. It's powdery, yes, but I do not feel it's super powdery. So in a way, this is like a versatile kind of powdery with like a woody vanillic base. Yes. And that base is really sexy. So my next magnet could be Old for Greatness, mm. but it's not. Okay. So instead, I have chosen one, still from Initio, that I think is 
it's definitely not the same but there is something in it and I'm guessing it's the woody side that actually reminds me of Wood for Greatness mm -hmm. but I have chosen Blessed Baraka Ooh. and I love this yeah. because this is powdery, it's woody, it's musky and almost like it has something kind of leathery boozy as well. Beautiful and it is something that makes people go like Hey, what was that? Yeah. And then you want to get closer. Yeah. Yeah, Blessed Baraka definitely has something very attractive about it. This together with a bunch of other fragrances used to be uh, one of my favorite date night fragrances. This is very sexy. And I really enjoy that you picked this one and it reminded me that I need to start using this one again because it's yes. so good. The next one is from Prada and it is Prada Luna Rosa Black. I mean, I love all of the Prada Luna Rosa fragrances, but there is something special about black. Yeah. This is kind of musky, it's a bit sweet, it's powdery, it has vanilla, and I would say that it's not a beast mode performer, no. so people won't notice you from like far away, but when someone gets close to you, they will want to stay close or come closer to smell this more. And what we do have to remember about women is that not everyone wants a in-your-face yeah. kind of scent. Yeah. Some just want something that they can sense when they come close to the man. And this is one of those. Yeah, awesome choice. And I really like what you just said because most guys, or at least a lot of guys, seem to be sort of uh, focused on just getting strong scents. Now, I understand it. I mean, I love high performing fragrances and I spray fragrance like crazy. But with that said, please do understand that not everyone enjoys a massive scent cloud around the person they are meeting up with. No. There's a charm to having a smaller scent bubble because when she gets closer to you, that's like, oh, whoa, what was that? And she will be sort of a intrigued and tempted to get closer to you no. instead of just be like in that massive bubble all the time yeah and not only intrigued and tempted i mean i have done this several times if you get that whiff when you pass him a little bit closer and you notice how good it smells women do everything to just get closer Whoa. without going too far or being not classy or something like that. But I mean, you find those small ways to just, oh, I just had to be ah, a bit closer. Okay. Next up is one that I recently got addicted to mm. and it is Hugo Boss de Saint Le Parfum. There is something intoxicating yeah. about this one. And I can promise you that this is the kind of scent that women love on a man. It is woody, it's powdery, but it also has leather. Yeah. So it has like this softness from the powdery notes, but it has the leather that brings a sexy vibe and something a bit rough, although overall it's a really elegant scent. Yeah, so this one is powdery, but not uh, massively powdery. And the powderiness to me is not that sort of a super lipsticky kind of no. powderiness. No. And yes, it's woody and it also has leather in it, but neither of those are in your face super no. heavy. No. So don't worry if you're not a massive fan of fragrances with leather in them, because this is like super soft kind of leatheriness. Yes. And don't worry if you don't enjoy overly woody scents either, because this is not that. No. But what it is, is quite a well-balanced, yet with something that makes it just super attractive. Yeah, there is something, I think, kind of sweet to it. And I think that's what, what's actually the magnet in it. So I think you might have to, like, edit some explosions and fireworks and, yeah, just come up with something, because this one needs a special presentation mm. because this is, as you say, the one above yeah. all. It's the absolute best men's fragrance ever made. And if you know us, you know that it's Diorum Intense. Yeah, and sorry for interrupting you, but I don't think just explosions is enough for this one. I mean, if I sent you out with this one on, I mean, you could get like four ladies to come up here just by that sand trail. Yeah, this thing is insane when it comes to compliments. It's insane when it comes to grabbing people's attention. And I'm gonna say this, yes, this video is about uh, women magnets, 
but this is like human magnet. Yeah. <laughs> I've had so many crazy reactions from both women and men with that one. And Dior Homme Intense is behind some of the most wicked, sexiest, but also some of the most fun fragrance stories I have ever experienced. Yeah, and uh, about the scent, for those of you who doesn't already know about it, it's woody, it's powdery, it has a pear note and it has musk. So this is such a soft, powdery, woody blend that's just absolutely fabulous. So the next one has so many notes that I'm absolutely addicted to and that I love. And it's L'Omidial mm. The Extreme from Guerlain. So this has almonds, it has plum, it has tobacco and leather. So it is sweet, it's fruity, it's almost boozy to my yeah. nose. It has the sweetness from the tobacco and that sexy vibe from the leather. This is not heavy no. on the leather at all, but there is something that gives it like a punch. Yeah. So if you like L'Omidial from Guerlain, any one of them, you will most likely love this one as well. Yeah, guys, having worn this to a bunch of dates, this is, this has that Guerlain L'Omidial signature almond scent, but it actually pushed back quite a bit in this one, giving room for this intoxicating sweet fruitiness with that tobacco and just a hint of leather in the background. This will make you smell amazing in an intoxicating and sex way. So I just recently exposed that my favorite Givenchy Gentleman mm. is not Reserve Privé <gasps> anymore. It's What's over going on? between us. No. Why did you change your mind? I... How I dare just, you? I just fell in love. Okay. And now it's all about EDP. Mm. I mean, Reserve Privé is still a beautiful yeah. one, but I have smelled this so much and every time you have had this on, yeah. I have gone crazy. Yeah. And that's how I knew that, okay, Reserve Privé is great, but yeah. this is the one that really gets the reactions. Yeah, and I can testify to that. <laughs> Your reactions to the EDP are actually more intense than with Reserve Privé. Yeah, so this is spicy, it's uh, powdery, it's woody, it's definitely sweet, it has a beautiful vanilla note, yeah. and I think that it's that sweetness from the vanilla together yeah. with the powdery side and something spicy is what makes this incredible. The next one is kind of spicy, aromatic, but most of all it's woody, it's sweet, it's a beautiful one. And now we are going to get comments about, no, the absolutely is much better. But I'm saying that the absolutely is amazing. Yeah. But stronger with you intensely is even more it's amazing. It's amazingly. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This yeah. is amazingly. Ah, okay. And this is magnetier. Magnetier. Even this more is magnetic. A super magnet. Su super woman magnet. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Su so you attract super women. Super woman. Oh, okay. Super woman can be hot. This so. is a super magnet for women. <laughs> This is too advanced for me now, yeah, right okay, now. Can we just okay. say that this can <laughs> Did I <laughs> Did I just say smay? Smay. I was trying to say that can I just say that this smells amazing. Yeah. This is incredible and I actually prefer this one before all of the other strong with mm -hmm. fragrances although I am happy if either one of them you pick, they are all magnets, but this is even more magnetic because it has that intoxicating sweetness. So when we are talking about women's magnets, we of course need something from the house of seduction and you know which house that is. Jean Paul Gaultier. Jean -Paul yes. Gaultier. I picked out Jean Paul Gaultier mm, Le Beau. So like a freshie then? A freshie yeah. and I'm not even that into freshies. A freshie, I might correct myself here. This is a freshie but with a twist. Yes, a freshie with a twist and the twist is sweet, it's aromatic, it's almost coconutty milky. This has bergamot, coconut and... Tonka. Tonka, yes. So that sweetness is intoxicating and it just brings your thoughts to summer, warm skin and something intoxicatingly seductive and magnetic. Yeah, I'm so happy that you chose this one. Guys, I've been talking about this one from day one. Is this on a warm day or just whenever you want? Yes. A sort of a freshie with a twist and the twist here being that sweet base with this sort of vanillic coconutty vibe to it. 
intoxicating, just try it. Okay, so all of these are women magnet fragrances, but if you could only pick three that are like the super magnet, which one would it be? It's actually quite easy. Okay. Because all of these 12 or 13 are just amazing fragrances that really draws women's attention. But there are some that are just way better than everything ever created. Okay. And I think you know which one the yeah, first is. Yeah. Dior Homme Intense, of yeah. course. Then Killian Ooh. Angels Share, because it's incredible. And then we have the sweet, spicy, beautiful cinnamon, kind of apple-like Leighton. This mm. is so good. So there you go, guys. A selection of Sandra Solomon fragrances, women magnet fragrances. I would love to know which fragrances in your collection you feel are women magnet fragrances. Put it in the comments. Make sure you head on over to Sandra Solomon fragrances channel. I'm going to link to the channel in the description below. It's up to her, it's up to me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.